As we watch and wait for the trial to play out, there is a sense of unease and uncertainty because nobody wants a repeat of what happened after George Floyd died. It sparked days of violence in Minneapolis and St. Paul. We saw destruction, division, fear, and anger. But sometimes you don't see the whole picture when you are in the middle of it. In that chaos last May, an outsider saw something different, unity and love. His name is Adam Schluter. He is a photographer based in Idaho, and he travels the world for a project he created called Hello from a Stranger. You may have seen his photographs in National Geographic. Adam has visited 20 countries the past three years just to meet people who are different than him, have conversations, learn about them, and take their pictures. And it was just a coincidence. He happened to be in Minnesota after George Floyd died. My only plan was just to go out and show the beauty that I was seeing every day by just exploring the world with no plan spontaneously. The result is Hello from a Stranger. Portraits of strangers from around the world taken by photographer Adam Schluter. The goal is to try to just inspire people. Fate really brought you to Minneapolis the weekend George Floyd died. Yeah, um, I was, uh, so I photograph weddings three months a year. Schluter was on a break from his travels to photograph a friend's wedding in Minnesota. He arrived in the Twin Cities a few days after George Floyd died, checked into a hotel. Just got in my room, went to sleep. Having heard zero news about what was going on outside. I woke up the next morning, uh, went down for breakfast, and there's a lot of uh, just people scuffling around the hotel. I went up to my room and I opened the window and it looked like uh, I was in a war zone. And I ran down to the front desk. I said, what is going on? And they're like, how do you not know what's going on? This whole town is protesting right now. And I was like, how do I get there? And they're like, don't go. And I was like, I have to go. It was spontaneous. He took pictures for a few hours, then went to the wedding. I, I photographed their wedding and then I went right back. And then, then I spent every day on the front lines. I canceled my flight and I just spent the rest of the time there with everybody. Instinct kicked in and Schluter did what he's done thousands of times all over the world. He got close. And so I've just parked my car wherever I could park it and I just ran on foot. As I got closer to 38th and Chicago in the third uh, precinct district, it was again like a war zone. Every, buildings were on fire, smoke was going everywhere. There was firefighters that couldn't even, you know, they looked exhausted and scared some of them. And he talked to people. I had a gentleman that we had a very powerful conversation where he was just explaining how much we need to bridge together. And he was an African American, I was obviously a white guy. And we has a great conversation about how to connect with each other during this. Through the lens of his camera, Schluter saw people coming together through turmoil. 99% of that community there was making sure their neighbors were okay. They're walking to houses all around. They were, again, taking care of local businesses. I saw African-American, white, uh, many different cultures, everyone coming together to protect their neighborhoods, to rebuild their neighborhoods. Um, you know, families and kids and everyone just doing their part. So to me, love was everywhere. None of his photos are staged. I met every person in those pictures less than two minutes before I took that picture. I didn't tell them where to stand. I didn't tell them what to do. Two women at a food shelf who put out a call on social media for emergency supplies. It was such an overwhelming response that they couldn't do anything with all the stuff that they had got, all the food diapers, uh, formula, stuff like that. And they're standing just surrounded by all the stuff that people had given them. The Minnesota National Guard face to face with demonstrators. And then you have these passionate uh, people that were out there protesting and, you know, they were peacefully but powerfully saying, put down your rifles, you know, join us, be a part of what we're doing. And to me, that was just unbelievable. There's a lady named Lux who I asked her on her knees with her fist up and uh, all the National Guard behind her. A young man who'd been hit in the head with a canister of tear gas. And you can see the burns all on the side of his face. And he was still out there the next day. So it's a very powerful picture. He's looking right at the camera. And, and what is the positivity in that photo? What? Here's a, a kid that's been shot point blank in the face, and he still chose to go out every single day and stand up for what he believed in. Yeah. What do you hope people can take away from your work that can help us all get through whatever's ahead of us? Yeah, great question, Kevin. I think I'm no one special. 
and I did not go into these protests. I obviously didn't expect to be in these protests, and I did not go into these protests with any kind of bias or agenda of what kind of story I was going to take out of them. All I did was what I do all over the world, and I just spent time. And there was such an overwhelmingly optimistic perspective about how this was going to bring people together, how this was going to start a conversation that was long overdue, and how much the city was going to come together and rebuild. Schluter believes understanding can begin with a simple hello from a stranger. And if you want to see the real story, just go out there and communicate and talk to people in person and ask questions. So people that are closer to the situations, they love to share their heart with you. We can learn a lot about each other from just talking, can't we? Yep, we can. Bringing the world closer together, one person, one conversation, and one photograph at a time. The last time I talked with Adam, he was working on his project in Mexico City in Guadalajara, meeting people and taking their pictures. By the way, he has a new book out called The World I See. It's excellent, and you'll find information on that and his website, Hello from a Stranger, with this story at KSTP.com.